So hey YouTubies, I'm coming to you guys today with a YouTube video on showing you how I achieved that beautiful pink ombre that you guys seen on my own on my thumbnail. And so we're gonna take these two colors and we're gonna be using water dye today. So you're just gonna see me take a pot and I have it in the bathtub. Um you're gonna see me take a pot pot and I'm gonna insert the pink in there, the pink petal, I believe that was that was, or it was blazing pink. It was something like that. You guys seen the picture of it. But yeah, I'm gonna take those two and I'm gonna start dipping the wig. And as you see, the wig is already pink. I think I used pink petal when I originally dyed the wig. So and it was just water dye as well. No, I used that one and I just lightly dipped it. But this time I saturated the water more and I'm going to dip it. And the key to getting that perfect ombre is you're going like this one. I'm going really high up on the hair because it's necessary to touch it. But you're going to keep constantly dipping the water, dipping it in and out the water so it can pick up more dye as it goes. So like I'm going to dip it first, you know, all the way down in there. And then I'm going to keep pulling up and down until like the area that I wanted the color more dense at, if you get what I'm saying. So we're going to go again. I'm going to go in with the Rage and Red. And I'm going to take the Rage and Red and I'm going to put that in the pot. You know, stir, stir, stir. I'm pretty sure y'all seen the word. I meant it plenty of times on YouTube. And I'm going to dip it. But now I'm only going to dip the ends. You know what I'm saying? Like, And then this helps give a nice blend because it's water. Like what fits more seamlessly than water on water. So you're just going to see me um, run my fingers through it. And I'm recording a TikTok while I'm doing this too, y'all. <laughs> Most I'm asking. But yeah, you're just going to see me dip the ends. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm going to come up to how far I need to come up to. Just to add some, you know, redness to the original pink. And then to deepen the red on the ends. So now you're going to see me just like the ends on the wig. I'm just going to keep dipping that. Like I told you, the more you dip it, the more it picks up dye. And, you know, this is Raging Red. So it kind of gave me a... um gave me like a really really dark fuchsia pink at the ends and i did want it a little bit darker at the ends because i was thinking that i should have used crimson but i didn't feel like going to the beauty supply store so you know next time you guys can get the color crimson or red cherry like cherry or something like that by adore me no not cherry um crimson or um a burgundy by adore me but outside of that so now you're going to see me like pull the wig like from the inside, like from the middle of the cap, and I'm gonna dip the ends again. Now this just helped the ombre go through the entire head at a different position opposed to just the ends being ombre. So you'll and you'll see it once I curl it. And so now you're gonna see me, like I told you I wanted a little deeper at the end. So I'm just gonna take a black dye and put it on my gloves. I'm just gonna rub a little bit at the ends. Like nothing major, just a little bit at the ends. And that's all you're going to see me do. You probably just heard me rub my hands. <laughs> but that's really all I'm going to do as far as that goes. And after I get that dye and I work it through and stuff like that, we're going to just wash it out. It's just 13 here. I water dyed it. If y'all want to use shampoo, you can. But make sure you use like a shampoo good for coloring because when you watercolor hair, the color does not stick as much. You know what I'm saying? It's not, um the it, you know what I'm saying? You didn't put them, you didn't deposit that much dye onto it. So it's really not that potent. And it's really not just like saturated the cuticles of the hair. It's just like kind of sitting on the top layer of um, the hair follicle. And then so now this is the hair. This is how it looks when it is blow dried. Period. You know, very much Valentine's Day vibes. And so you're just going to see me curl. And if you guys want to see a video on me give, showing you how to achieve bombshell curls, I would definitely do it. Because I really didn't, um, and I can show you with the flat irons and the barrel curls, but those curlers are from, I got them from TJ Maxx. Those are the hiding style curls. You know, TJ Maxx typically has some good brands in there on sale. So, yeah, I got those, and those are one and a half inch barrel curls. And the ones at the top of the head, I need those to hold the most because there's going to be, like, what surrounds the face. So, like, the bang area, I'm going to curl those first, you know, with the little, with the barrel curls. And I'm going to hold those with, um, flexi rods. So yeah, I'm gonna hold those with flexi rods, and that's really pretty. Uh, that's pretty much like all I'm showing right here. But like I said, if you guys want a video on how I achieve my curls, I would definitely do it because you're about to see how the curls look, and I'll, I'm pretty sure I'll probably get a comment on the curls, or well, maybe not. So y'all just let me know. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah, we're just gonna continuously do that. And so after I get done curling the hair and you know flipping it, this is how my curls look. And just a pro tip, the more curls you do or the more dividing that you do as you curl the hair, the better your results will be. So we're just going to see how juicy and pretty those curls will look. And yeah, I, um, I love them. So I'm just going to be taking a flexi rod out of the top of the head, you know. And I'm just going to show you guys the curls a little bit. And then you're going to eventually watch me style the wig. So you're going to see me go through it with the powder brush. 
depends on the length of the hair and the look I'm going for. If I want a more voluminous look, I'm going to go with the powder brush. But if I want a more in unison look with the curls, I'm going to go in with the um, with the wide tooth comb. But like I said, I want more of that voluminous look. So I am going to go through with a powder brush to separate these curls. And really, after I get done doing that, that will be the finished look. So yeah, I know you guys still just see the curls and stuff like that. I'm actually recording for TikTok right here. But boom, here it goes. Whoop, there it is. And so, like I said, right here, just gonna see me play with the curls. And that is pretty much it, y'all. And I know this video was really quick, but it really wasn't nothing to it. Like, if y'all feel like it need to be more in depth, please feel free to comment. Cause I will make one more in depth, probably with a longer inch wig, just so you can really get a grasp of the umbrella thing. But other than that, that is all for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Send it to a friend if you guys, you know, want to see how to achieve this. But, um, I thank you guys and peace out. <laughs> that was so lame.